Hey, Guru Nation, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you like, subscribe, comment, share. It really means a lot to me. I got asked this question on TikTok of all places. It's what is a study coordinator? And the answer is not as simple as it may seem. So yes, a study coordinator is the backbone of any study, but not all coordinators are built the same and not all coordinators are the same roles and responsibilities at, across all sites. There's just no such thing. So generally, the smaller the clinic, the more responsibilities, the more of a generalist skill set the coordinator will take on. But in essence, the coordinator is delegated by the principal investigator and the coordinator does all the duties that the PI delegates to them. So that's where the variability comes in, but it's anything from regulatory, startup regulatory, regulatory maintenance, patient visits, patient interaction, scheduling patient visits, collecting the data as per the protocol, entering it in the EDC, answering queries, reporting adverse events, serious adverse events, reporting protocol deviations to the sponsor and to the IRB, sometimes training other staff, sometimes even doing the contracts and budgets, really anything the PI delegates. Because remember, only the PI is the only one responsible for the conduct of the study. At bigger sites, what I've noticed is things are more streamlined. So the coordinator may not be doing all those things I mentioned, but a coordinator can do all those things I've mentioned. And again, smaller is better. You're going to develop more of a generalist skill set. At the end of the day, it's very simple. Coordinator, make sure the protocol is being followed good clinical practices being followed, and the coordinator collects the data as per the protocol and GCP on behalf of the investigative site, specifically the PI, for the purposes of the sponsor to package and send that data to the FDA for ultimate approval or rejection of the study data. That, in a nutshell, is what a coordinator does includes things that I didn't mention too, like informed consents, dealing with the IRTs, setting up patient reported outcome diaries, e-diaries, paper diaries, doing assessments, labs, sometimes drawing blood, doing EKGs, processing labs, sometimes not doing any of these things. Again, not every coordinator role is the same. Not all coordinator responsibilities are built the same. And not all coordinator salaries are the same. And coordinator role is a great role as a career on its own, but it's also usually a stepping stone to be a CRA, a site director, a lead coordinator, a site owner, or a number of other things in the clinical research industry. Shout out to all you coordinators out there. Without coordinators, clinical research industry would not exist. Theoretically, it would because PIs can do everything. Imagine if PI actually did all the work. That's hilarious. So theoretically, it's possible, but pragmatically, the industry cannot function with study coordinators. So thank you guys very much. Like, subscribe, comment, share. Catch you all later. Bye-bye.